uh yeah okay cool okay so yeah so this is um day two uh growth discussion on the week challenge so we are going to be using this time to discuss about the challenge uh how how is it going so far uh, uh are there any confusion that you have had so far and uh so that just uh, we can go through them together and come up with a solution so this is more of a q a uh, rather than it's a tutorial session so um feel free to speak and uh let's start so who's ready to uh be the first one to discuss about the weekly challenge and any challenge that they may have faced So maybe, uh, yeah, feel free. And if you have any question, you're allowed. Maybe, it, so there is no small question, you know, if there's something that unclear, it might be about the challenge or it might be something about uh, some information or something, whatever it is. But since it's a discussion, let's discuss uh, whatever the issue we have. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Collins. Good afternoon. Hello. We can hear you. Uh, okay. uh, thank you very much for the, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I just want to say for this week, I think so far it's been so interesting and uh, even much more understandable for me than uh, last week. I believe. Uh, Maybe last week I was not uh, not being accepted then. Maybe that was the reason. And uh, I think yesterday I requested that uh, I want to maybe get a more explanation if maybe there will be an extra opportunity for a class uh, regarding the last week, uh, the VLOOKUP and uh, all that. So that is the area I really need to master that area. That's where I had the... Uh, challenge for last week and so i would really want to be a put through again because it's very important for even my my work so that's where i have a challenge for this week it's been very wonderful i've been able to grasp uh all the, ten, the challenges and the tasks that we've been given so far yeah um okay uh uh, so, for the last week's uh, challenge, I would advise you to just work on the current week's challenge. Uh, but since uh, we're going to be having uh, other uh, challenges that are re related to data analysis uh, by using Excel and uh, Google Studio and so on and so on, so we're going to be using, we are going to be definitely using the lookup and such things for future challenge. So uh, if you have uh, if you if you haven't done it uh, for the last week, uh, you will be doing it for the next week's charge challenge or the coming uh, week's challenge. So what I'm trying to say is that if you uh, want to work on last week's challenge, I would advise you uh, to just wait until the program is over and work on it after that. But if you want to master the skills uh, of Excel, we're going to be using Excel to do analysis, uh, data analysis, and uh, data visualization, and so on. Uh, uh, like, I believe, more than uh, for two or three uh, projects. So you are going to be definitely work working with uh, these things for the future. So you will get more com comfortable uh, with them. So we, we are going to be. Uh, working with them again so that you will feel comfortable. So I would advise you to, to just focus on the current week's uh, project. But of course, if you uh, demand that you want to work on last week's challenge, and um, so there's not going to be a session for last week's cha challenge, but uh, the tutors, as the tutors could arrange a private session when we can uh, just uh, show, show you the basic things. But that's going to take uh, up time from this week for, for you. And uh, uh, it's no problem for us, but 
for you it's going to take up time so if you don't mind uh, yeah you can ask uh, the tutorials for private session and we will be happy to show you these things uh, but again i would like to remind you that you're going to be working with excel uh, the google D data studio uh, slides and so on uh, mul multiple times so you will get more compatible with these tools so yeah i hope that answers your question Collins. Yes, yes, that's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, so who's going to go next? Or uh, Reddit, do you want to add anything? No, actually, you have said it all. So yeah, let's see if there are other people who want to say something. Okay, Arisani, we can go. All right, all right. Good day, everyone. Uh, I really, I really want to appreciate you for the opportunity given to us. Uh, thank you for all the sessions, wonderful presentations. Uh, I just uh, have a few observations that I actually want to bring up, and the respect of the tax because uh, it seems. Uh, Last week, I, I, was unable, I was unable to do all the tasks. I was just able to do just one, one of the challenges. That is the non-technical one that I submitted. But later, I discovered that there are other tasks that, uh, that I needed to have submitted. But this time around, I, I got a meet today again about another tax. And uh, I, I have uh, the the tax on the hiring, uh, the hiring process, the human resources, something. So I, I, I'm a bit confused about the tax. How many tax do we have per week? And uh, how do we get to know those tax so that we don't just, uh, we don't just uh, overlook them or uh, unknowingly? We, because I am aware that by tomorrow now there will be deadline for one. And maybe on Friday, Saturday, another. So I just want clarification on this, on these challenges. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I want to discuss uh, to distinguish between tasks and submissions. So every week you're gonna have at least three submissions, uh, which is going to be the entry submission and the final submission on the technical side and uh, at least one uh, submission for the technical side. So uh, so there's going to be at least three submissions every week. And the date for these submissions is the interim submission for every uh, Wednesday, The I, I believe the non-technical submission for every Friday and the final sub submission for every Saturday. So if there is any change, I believe there's just one uh, week uh, there is one challenge that you are going to work for uh, two weeks, but we will announce that uh, the new uh, challenge submission gets then. So these are the submissions. Uh, I'm talking about the submissions. So this is the at least or the minimum uh, submissions that you are going to have per week. But for the tasks, you have to look at the challenge document. So for this week, uh, for the interim submission, which I which is going to be tomorrow, of the technical uh, challenge of course you are going to submit task one so every challenge has uh, some ch challenge could have one ta uh, like three tasks uh, four tasks five tasks and so on so that's not fix it but uh, on the submissions or the due dates we have specified what which tasks you are going to uh, submit on which uh, su submission so for instance for this week for the interim submission, you are expected to submit uh, task one. And for the final su su submission, which is on, going to be on Saturday, you are expected to submit uh, from task two up to task four. four. So uh, for the tasks, it will be announced or it will be specified on the challenge do document. But as for the submissions, you are going to have at least, at least three submissions per week uh the technical submissions the interim and the final and one non-technical submissions which is the carriers uh, submissions so 
how you are going to dis distinguish between the, these things is uh, by lo looking at the names. So for the technical submissions, you have interim submission. No, uh, we specify that it is interim submission and the type of file that it has accepted on the assignment side. And for the non-technical, it says name te technical and what type of uh, assignment it is. So maybe if you can share your screen, uh, I can show you which is which. But uh, like, did I answer your question or did I uh, create more confusion? Mm, yeah, th th thank you. You, uh, you actually answered a bit of it. I want to have the, the final submission. Is it going to be? Is it going to be comprised of all the taxes from the, the tax one down that we have to submit again on the final submission? Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, that depends on the challenge document. So you have to look at the final document. I'm, I'm sorry. You have to look at the challenge document, and under the due date, we have the final submission, right? And under the final submission, we actually specify which tasks you have to include. For instance, for this week, you're not expected to uh, submit task one. Task one is only submitted on the interim submission. For this week only, you are expected to submit from task two up to task four for the final submission. But for instance, for last week, on the, you can go ahead and lo look at the uh, challenge do document. It's specified that you have to submit all of the tasks on the final su submission, including what you have already submitted on the interim submission. So it's not like a fixed thing. Uh, which specifies which or uh, which tasks you have to submit on which week or uh, on which submission, but rather every week we are going to specify on the challenge document, which is uh, going to be uh, included in which uh, submission. So I think Reddit is already sharing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. So for the interim here, we have specified that it's only only task one. And for the final, we have already um, specified that it is uh, from task two up to task four. Yeah. So you have to always go and refer to the challenge document to see which is expected to be submitted when. Also, and it, it's not only for this week's challenge. It's on every week's challenge and on, and on every challenge document. It is going to be mentioned on the place that we've shared now. Okay, so you can check that which part are you to know which part are you going to submit. Okay, great, thank you. Okay. Another question or point of discussion, I can say? Ideas, suggestions? Okay, in the call, you can go. Okay, sorry about earlier. Uh, uh, my question is uh, on the this week's challenge writing job descriptions so in, in that we've got about four departments finance is there it is there business development and public relations in the information technology there is this says it's it says create job descriptions for roles such as software developers it support specialist and network administrator is do do we pick one one of the the, the mentioned uh, positions for this task or do we have to go through the 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 all all of the list run like i have to make a job description of software developer for information technology the it support specialist for information technology and then a network administrator for information technology do, do we have to go through all of them or do we pick one of them that's my my first question yeah okay uh, so let me take this one so uh, i think we have discussed about this on the challenge introduction so for the okay. IT department, you don't need, uh, you only need to select one role. So uh, for the finance, it's status that it doesn't say role. So you have to uh, actually include those requirements. But for the IT department, it states role. So you have to just select only one role and uh, work on that one. Okay. So you are right, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay, that's cool. And my my other question is uh, on on the on the folder way the the CVs are listed screening for for the CVs. 
there are sales and uh, there is another folder which, which is not technically related in, in, in the job descriptions list. I think it's sales and uh, digital media or something like that. So uh, is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, I have, okay, uh, yeah, we have discussed about this one. What it is is, okay. Uh, originally, there were several de departments that uh, for U2J1 we were working with, but since uh, the time is uh, only li limited, and since this is just uh, your second week, we have decided to go with just the four. So that's why, but it's already the CVs or the resumes of those de departments. So we only have to work with the, already the four departments that we have specified and the rest three are there uh, because it was already mentioned on or, or uh, because it was already uh, for the previous batch so for the previous what they did this project but since there were uh, there, there was more time uh, they had to go through the seven departments okay okay i'll make sure to watch the videos on youtube thank you yeah no no it's okay it's okay it, it, it's good that we have uh, we are cleaning it up but uh, if there is any more confusions, uh, I think this is a better uh, platform to discuss it. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. okay, sure, uh, you're welcome. And thank you for asking them. Yes? I'm so sorry, um, yes, I'm picking you back to the uh, job description, the, the role of the on, under the information technology, uh, the that create job description for roles such as soft, software developer, IT support specialist, and the network administrators. Well, when I was doing it, it's like it's giving me the, it, it's give, it gave me the job description for each of of this. Is it, is it am, I, am I going to do it separately or just? Uh, some uh, put everything as a rule under IT, uh, under information technology. Um, yeah, so you have um, to just pick one role. Uh, okay. That, yeah, so that was uh, what uh, Nekado was talking about So earlier. So for the IT department, we have already, we have actually uh, put a list of roles for the other departments, uh, just a list of requirements. So for the IT department, since it's a bit wide, you can just pick one role and work with that role. But for the rest of the, the, the departments, we specified only the requirements. So for instance, for the IT department, you could choose the IT support specialist role or the software development role. So uh, for the IT department, it's more you have to choose the role first before going through the the rest of the things for the IT departments. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, any more questions? These are really good questions. So, yeah, I think if you had more, it's good. It's better. The more the merrier. Questions, guys. Or it could be actually about mechanics if, uh, if uh, there is any confusion, um, if there is anything you want us to go through, if you have problem with the Tenix platform or, or anything. It's not only limited to this week. Okay, if everything is uh, clear, show me some thumbs up and we can end the session. Hello. Yes, good evening. Godwin.
Is that your re name, by, by the way, Godwin? Yeah, it's Godwin. Oh, oh, that's interesting. All right, thank um, you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, mine has got to do with the tax two to four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are we supposed to create just one PDF file and kind of like yes. because tax one is just we create a folder for each job description. So I'm guessing tax four we wouldn't have to create a folder, but just a single PDF file that contains everything we are yes. submitting. Yes. All right. Yes. So uh, for the final submission, we are only, only going to submit one PDF file, but um, for the interim submission. You are supposed to. Uh, you are expected to submit one uh, link to the folder. So you don't have to create actually a folder for each department, but one folder that's going to hold the PDA file for uh, the four de departments. Now, uh, is is that clear? Got. Uh, yeah, that's clear. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, Reddit, I think that's uh, it. I don't think there's any more questions. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for being here and for attending. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. Uh, have a good, good night, day. guys. Bye. Bye.